Hey guys, over the years we've showed you bo Boso Zoku, or as, as we call them, the Bozo Saku. <laughs> what they do, what they do in their behaviour and bikes and so on. And recently I mentioned them to do with something else briefly, but in a fairly sort of a disrespectful, derogatory way. And someone said, oh, all, all I see is just some guy sitting on a bike. And they couldn't sort of see why it is that, that we don't like them and that most people who live in Japan don't like them. In fact, the slang uh, sort of uh, insult for them from Japanese people is cockroach, is what they call them, cockroaches. So the, the reason is that, for example, we live in a fairly quiet little town here. This is the busiest intersection in the town, right? But over there behind me is all residential. And so you've got families and kids and old people and everybody else living in houses just over here. Over the other side too, same thing. So it's a fairly quiet little town. It's 11 o'clock at night. This is the busiest part of town, right? That's as busy as it gets. So it's pretty quiet. The temperature at the moment is very pleasant. So at night, at night we like to leave our windows open. But from now until probably 4 o'clock in the morning, We've got the bozos driving round and round the town, revving the shit out of their engines. Now, I just want to talk about this briefly. When I was younger, I rode bikes occasionally, not a lot, but a bit. And uh, a lot of my friends rode bikes. And in fact, some of my best friends still ride bikes now um, in Australia and Japan and uh, other parts of the world as well, including Philippines. Um, so I'm, I'm close to a lot of people who ride bikes. One of the side effects sometimes of riding a big bike in particular can be the noise, but it's a side effect. It's, it's not the main goal. Whereas in the case of the bozos, their whole goal is to make noise. So they drive around at five kilometers an hour, or 20 kilometers an hour, revving the hell out of their bike just to make noise. And that's the whole goal, right? And they do it any time of day or night, but particularly overnight. In fact, So they'll do that from now till four o'clock in the morning. And that's as fast as they ride. You can see them heading off down there, going through a red light, heading through a red light down there, right through the red, you watch. Right through the red, don't stop. That's the whole goal, is just to make noise. They don't, they're not interested in going fast, just make noise. They usually weave backwards and forwards between lanes so that people can't can't get past them so they're going really slowly on purpose and people can't get past them because they're weaving backwards and forwards between lanes so you might have seen a video I made years ago showing a big bunch of them of 50 60 bikes and there was a police car cruising along in the middle of them just taking pictures probably that's usually what they do but they don't do anything about it so it's, it's really frustrating because in a country that's actually very peaceful usually and where usually people have respect for the law, you've got these guys who have no respect for the law at all. And, you know, it's not, not about the law so much. I mean, if, if people break a law that doesn't affect any, anybody else, who cares, right? But the problem with these guys is everything about them is just to annoy other people. The noise and the, the blocking the lanes of the traffic and just carrying on like, like anti-social, disturbing people upsetting the... The, the, the countryside, you know, upsetting the people. So nobody likes them. Nobody likes them. And the police just don't do anything about it. It's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment to Japan. It really is. You know, this country that has a reputation for being so law-abiding and so peaceful um, and let they allow these, these clowns to do their thing. You know, it's a real shame. It's a real shame. And it's surprising. We saw a, a news story on, on, on the news once of uh, the Osaka police 
and they had this special operation out to catch some bosos, right? And these bozo, bozos came down the street and the cops were sort of blocking the street. So the bozos went up on the footpath, went straight past the cops and rode away. And that was that was the story. The night story was here's the the, the the police have an operation on to catch the bozos, right? To stop the bozos. And that's that's how the story ended. <clears throat> was that they went up on the footpath and went round the police and uh, and went on their merry way and that was the end of the story. They didn't get caught. So it's it's ridiculous because in any other country you'd have police operations with with stingers and all sorts of stuff to, to deflate the tires and you know some countries Australia has a, a hooning law that says if they get caught that sort of behaviour once they get a warning if they're caught uh, and a penalty and they get caught a second time their car or their vehicle in this case would be a bike gets uh, uh, seized and crushed. Which, you'd, you know, they start doing that to these turkeys, it would be the end of them, wouldn't it? But they just don't. <clears throat> you know, we watch the police here all the time. They sit up here at the intersection and catch people going through the, the stoplight, which is good. They stop people going through the red light. Uh, but, you know, soft targets, you know, that someone going through a red light up here isn't causing as much uh, hassle in the community as those turkeys on their bikes. You know, so it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. It's embarrassment to Japan. You know, I don't know how the politicians and the and the cops live with themselves. You know, when everybody knows about the cockroaches and and the cops and the politicians don't know anything about it. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. We've got an Expo coming next year, and you know, what are the people in Osaka going to see when they go stay in Osaka for the Expo? People from around the world are going to see the bozos cruising up and down the street doing that bad behavior so anyway <clears throat> that's enough of my ranting i'll show you a little bit more of these guys probably that no doubt they'll come past again if it's not tonight it'll be another night because they do it they do it every weekend every weekend sometimes during the week as well because it seems they don't have jobs losers to the bone <laughs> anyway that's enough of that so guys it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm back at the old farmhouse and you can hear it's pretty quiet here usually but at the moment there must be a big group of bozos that have all collected somewhere and they're going round and round so you get these periods where it's really quiet here and really peaceful like it normally is and then you get the the noise of them going they're from here it would be probably 500 metres down the hill to the road that they come along, which is only a little narrow road. It's not that big one I was showing you before. Just a little narrow road down the bottom. And they come past, and they go all the way around the town and come round. And then sometime later they come back again. Just absolutely pointless. And I'll keep doing that till 4 o'clock in the morning probably. Obviously don't have homes or girlfriends or, or jobs or a life of any description. So anyway... Have a listen to what it sounds like when they go past and you get the idea of why we don't like them. You can sort of hear them in the distance. There they are. So they're actually up on the main road, which is about probably almost a kilometre from here and it's really loud so imagine the people that live closer to the main road it must be absolutely horrible keep in mind too cars and trucks go up and down that road all day and we we don't even hear them but it's only these clowns doing their thing that we hear and when we've got the windows open at night it's enough to wake you up really annoying because you get these periods like now where it goes peaceful and then you hear them off in the distance, they'll get closer again and get louder again. Anyway, you get the idea. They're an embarrassment to Japan, they really are. Embarrassment to Japan, the politicians, the police. Embarrassment to all of them, listen to it. must be a lot of them tonight because there's some on one side of us to the west of us and there's some others to the east of us
Imagine, imagine putting up with that all night. Embarrassment. Embarrassment to the country, embarrassment to the politicians and embarrassment to the police, isn't it? They're scared, that's what it is. Any other country in the world, the police would deal with this and put it to an end, but not here. They're scared. They'd rather just get, get the soft targets and write them tickets. Too scared of those guys, which, who are pussies anyway. Anyway, you get the idea. Probably won't be able to sleep with the window open tonight. Anyway, guys, that's it. Japan's embarrassment. More videos coming soon.